Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create this 3D room with um, a couple of screens and things going on. This was a pretty fast example so you may have not seen it properly but I'm gonna, gonna tell you that it's really really easy and really nice. So let's get started. First of all we're gonna create some folders. First of all, we're gonna call it compositions. Then we're gonna duplicate it, put it inside of compositions, and we're gonna call this recoms. Then we're gonna create another one and we're gonna call this screens. So with that done, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create the composition. We're gonna make it 30 seconds long and 12 8 by 20 plus We're gonna call this make. Then we're gonna go to screens and we're gonna create a composition from these screens. And basically, as in my last tutorial, we're gonna say, do the same thing. Title action save, create a form. Not gonna make it very nice or anything, like always. So, just create the form. Alright, this is where it's called. Anyway. And like in my previous tutorial, same thing. Duplicate, call this stroke. Duplicate this one again, call this alpha. Put it on top. Create a highlights. Alpha, put this to stencil alpha, call this highlights, go to stroke and put it blue and take off the fill. Then we're just gonna import some paint. I use the opening regarding composition on the color episodes. And then we're just gonna select part from it. That's basically it. Well, we're gonna go to transform and hit the comp so it fits in the screen. And so, well, yeah, that's it. Now we've got our screen finished. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna duplicate the screens around 10 times. That'll be enough. Then we're gonna import. Well, first, we're gonna create a new solid. We're gonna make it comp size. Our mask tool. We go to mask and we better it a bit. Drop the mask expansion a bit to past it. With our 25 or 30 to like this one. Then what you wanna do is go to go ahead and download the plugin I'm just gonna upload right now, which is called Plain Space. Without plugin, basically what you're gonna get is a window like this. Um, let's see if I can do it first. You're gonna get a window like this. And you need this window to create the following thing. So, to install Plane Space, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to Plane Space Windows. It'll be After Effects. You choose the version of After Effects you have. If you have CS5.5 like I do, you need to click here. You install the CS5 tool then go back and install this uh, CS5 version so install it like normally and you have the key can here key gen or what it's called you click generate and paste that right after that set you want to import your screen one of them just then you want to go in this window 
I don't know if you can see it properly, which is called the CSD code. Box effects, you can see it. You wanna click on Reveal Layers, you wanna click 10, and you wanna click on Equator, and create ring things that you click on Apply. You will have the rings created. Got the rings here, you can control them and do anything you want with them. They are 3D of course, so never mind. Well, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna create a new node object. Make it 3D, and we're gonna parent the screen to the node object. Like so. So now you can control the screen with the node object. You can control them and anything So you don't need to move the camera actually. I'm gonna put it here make it really easy. We're gonna push it on the back like so So it is in the middle of the screen as you can see We go to 4 views left You can see that the blue thing is the render So the render is right now in the middle Right now it's in the middle so If we create a new camera now we can move the render around and we can move uh, the screens around too. But in order to do so, we need to adjust the camera. So we need to take the camera and we move the point of interest. And now we can move it around. As you can see. Right, what you want to do now is just to create this some sort of You can see the screens move up from zero. So what I did there was go to scale, put it at zero, ten frames, and put it at one hundred. Then you enable motion blur. As you can see now the screens move up. They will pop up. Fast you want them. Right now I made them work way too fast, so it's not gonna work properly. But just need to play with the volumes. That's it, that's how you how you make a 3D room with the, with the screens and shit. I just get some imagination and do another stuff like I don't know, you can put particles to it. Particles and I'm gonna choose one of my presets because I just already made it. I don't know, that's just a quick tutorial on how to do it. You can figure out the rest by yourself. As you can see when you move it around, you can do it yourself. That's basically it, sorry, it was a bit fast, but that's all I have to say.